Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to One Minute Tennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the service and specifically the rhythm of the service because you can actually have a great serve with bad rhythm and it won't function too well, but you can have a pretty mediocre stroke with good rhythm and you'll have a great service. And I want to show you a test and a method of how you can check that your service rhythm is the same as the pros, or you can actually find the rhythm of the best servers in the world. Now, the problem for most players in the world, probably for you on the serve, is that the beginning of the serve is too fast. So the pro players, you tend to see slow, 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 and then acceleration. And then as you go to the rest of the human race, we tend to have this fast, fast motion. And there's a few problems with this quick, quick motion of the serve. The first one is that the ball toss and the movements tend to be out of control. They're just too quick. The precision of the early part of the stroke is lost. And also the momentum of the racket is sort of going in two directions. So you end up fighting yourself. You see, if I quickly go back, then I have to force the racket to stop to then reverse and go forwards. So uh, again, the pro players smooth and accelerate and probably your serve back and back. And I could feel the racket stopping and my arm having to take the force of the racket to decelerate it and stop. And so everything's tightened before I go into the serve. I lose the looseness and my body is not working in harmony. But finding this smooth, harmonious, slow start that accelerates into the powerful serve is a very unnatural motion. And if we're going to acquire it, we're going to have to acquire it with a feel. So I'm now going to show you a little trick, which the only way you can make this without um, an accident is that you have the rhythm absolutely perfect in your serve. So what I have here is a little plastic uh, bottle of water. You can see I have water in the bottle. And I'm going to remove the top, the bottle's maybe 75% full, and I'm just going to squeeze the bottle so that I've got a good grip on it. And now I'm going to go into my service action, and if my service action is truly perfect, then the momentum of the movement should keep the water in the bottom of the bottle. So I should be able to make the stroke in safety without the water actually falling all over me, okay? So look, smooth, racket drop and swing. Smooth, racket drop and swing. Smooth, racket drop and swing. If you use a bottle of water, 50 to 75% full, doesn't want to be 100% full. There needs to be a little bit of movement for the, or a little bit of room for the water bird to maneuver inside the bottle. And then if you can make your service stroke without having water pouring all over you, then you will have the correct rhythm of the stroke. And now I'm going to alternate between making the service stroke with the correct rhythm, with the water, and now with the racket. With the water, and now with the racket. And then it's fairly easy to transfer this into the service stroke. So take the service rhythm challenge and see whether you can make the stroke without covering yourself with water. And if you can, you will have the rhythm, the smooth, harmonious movement of all the parts of the body moving together, and you'll have a better serve today. I hope this makes sense. I'd love to know how it works in your game or the players that you work with. If you like my ideas, have a look at our books on Amazon. We provide detailed breakdown of the strokes with the biomechanics, the science, the physics of each movement, and then super simple solutions with great illustrations making it easy to follow and easy to apply change to your game. Or if you want more personalized advice, have a look at what we're doing with online coaching. We're helping players in over 30 countries of all ages and all levels. It's a unique service of one-to-one -one video analysis and one-to-one -one coaching. There's more information on that in the website or email me for details. So take the service rhythm challenge. See if you can reproduce the smooth, harmonious, flowing motion that you see in the best players of the world. And even if you don't change your technique, if you can find that rhythm, you will serve faster, more consistently, and better today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.